hey guys welcome to second part of our firewall video and basically this is part of the 23rd video of LZH project and my name is Salman Francis and we will continue uh, from where we left okay to view the services which are currently active uh, we issue the command uh, firewall dash cmd as always dash dash get dash service press enter and it will show us the services which are currently active we can see we have amanda dash client bacula bacula dash client dhcp and yes guys i would like to uh, take a moment here and uh, let you guys know that uh, after this firewall we will be starting servers and hopefully we'll start with apache or squid server so i haven't made uh, created any video yet but uh, that's the plan okay so in order to check what services will be started automatically uh, if the system reboots or the firewall is reloaded we enter the same command with firewall dash cmd dash dash get dash service with permanent option press enter wait so these are the services which will get activated automatically on the reboot. Okay, so next command what I'm going to show you is how to turn off or start dropping all the incoming and outgoing packets. It's called the panic mode and let me demonstrate it by going to our server 3 and let's ping 192.168.1. 1.245 which is our server 2 and let's go to server 2 and start the panic mode firewall dash cmd it's really simple dash dash panic dash on and we will see that traffic will stop okay so no more traffic or pings are going to our firewall uh, which is on server 2 so to turn off this panic mode we'll just type firewall cmd dash dash cmd dash dash panic off press enter and we can see that the ping starts again so that's how we stop all the uh, packets uh, in one command okay to find out if panic mode is enabled or disabled we will use firewall dash cmd dash dash query dash panic wait and it says no let's go to our server 2 and say uh, check if it's we have disabled it already so it will say no but let let us turn it on and query okay and it will say yes and yes okay let me turn it off okay now to reload firewall we will use firewall cmd as usual dash dash reload wait and we can see it says success okay to add an interface to a zone we issue the command firewall cmd and the zone let's say public and we wish to add it to the interface which is en uh, what was our interface let me check okay 
it's ENP0S3 press enter so this will make sure that my public zone is assigned with this interface but it's already exists so uh, it's uh, going to give me this warning okay anyway if we want to make this thing permanent we need to add permanent and this then press enter okay and we can see it says success okay so uh, let me show you this how we can also edit our um, ethernet file to make this happen so let me go to cd etc sys config network dash script ls and here we have these uh, ethernets and there's this file ifcfg dash enp 0 s3 which is my uh, ethernets file so let's less the content and over here you can see that it's giving me name boot type boot prototype uh, and lots of option and then there is one option we can always write here we can always uh, like tell this add here option that if we want to give any name to this for example zone is equals to work or zone is equals to private so it will be permanent also okay however to change the default zone we will go to etc firewall d and firewall.conf uh, configuration file press enter and here we can see that the default zone at the moment is public and here we can change the default zone I'll just press quit okay okay to change the default zone by command line we use firewall dash cmd dash dash set dash default dash zone is equal to any zone of your liking but I'll take public press enter and it's because it's already set so it's going to give me the warning but this is how you set the default zone by CLI okay so now let's list what ports are open for our public zone let me clear the screen first so to list them okay I'll just first go out clear the screen so to list them I'll use firewall dash cmd and dash dash zone is equals to public and dash dash list dash ports press enter and we can see that port tcp80 which is a web server like and it's open http port is open okay now i would like to open port 5060 which is sip port uh, port for sip session initia initiation protocol so to open it i'll just add this to firewall cmd dash dash zone is equals to public and dash dash add uh, what port i would like to add port is equals to 5060 and it is udp press enter wait okay it says success now let's check if the port is added or not press enter and waiting and there we have it so this is how we add port okay okay what if I want to add uh, number of ports with a single command so let's use the same port 5060 and this time I'll just add 5061 press enter success 
let's list, let's list the port waiting and waiting and there we have it it's telling us that 50 to 60 dash 50 61 UDP is open 80 is open and 50 60 UDP is open okay so this is uh, end of part two of firewall and i'll hope to see you in part three thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe